Hello, I'm Sue Oster, NFPWC Michigan affiliate member and a member of the International Federation of Business and Professional Women's Clubs Arts and Culture Committee. And today I will be talking to NFPWC members Leanne W. Burst and Ashley Maria. They are here today to speak about their next impact film called Superhuman Anxiety, which I love the title, by the way. <laughs> Ashley is the writer, producer, and director of this film. And Leanne is the impact producer as executive producer of the film. So thank you. And hello, ladies. Well, first of all, we really do appreciate you um, doing this international BPW Arts and Culture podcast and taking your time out to talk with us today. So many BPWs know you from your acclaimed documentary, Pioneers in Skirts. So can you talk a bit about that, how that work has been going and what impact that has had since you first created it and rolled with it? And by the way, if, for those of you watching, if you have not seen this, you need to. It's fantastic. It's very well done. I I was blown away when I saw it. Well, so. thank you. Yeah, Pioneers and Skirts really started, in, you know, it was inspired by BPW. We were inspired by learning the history, learning the support, seeing how the support has evolved over years, especially for mm -hmm. women in the U.S. And from there, we started making a film together uh, to talk about what women today need in their careers. Mm -hmm. uh, and it evolved into um, realizing that the culture is not advancing quickly enough, if you will. So sure. it became this odyssey that Leanne and I went on. Uh, without even realizing we were going to do this. We just started out with one goal. And that's usually how filmmaking works is you start out with one goal mm -hmm. and it evolves and you and you realize the impact you can really have. We've we've definitely learned a lot in the making of Pioneers and Skirts. And then also a lot of it we created ourselves. Leanne's been the spearhead of, of our impact. It's been incredible. Yeah, you want yes. to say something about that, Leanne? Yeah, that's your cue. <laughs> I'm going to lean back and go, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, hey, what do, yeah. That's, what we do, that's what we do in our podcast. We go, edit. <laughs> well, I think um, Leanne's, ex you know, past corporate experience actually lended a lot to the film that most filmmakers don't even know how to do. Mm -hmm. And that really, really yeah. set us apart. Yeah, I I have a strong marketing background. Um, I I don't have a strong background in making the brochures, that sort of thing. <laughs> I'm I'm a very strong strategist, and so mm. messaging, bringing products yeah. to market, which is like yeah. bringing a film to market, and then um, how to make an impact with the product and mm -hmm. <clears throat> make it um, appeal to people. And when we launched Pioneers and Skirts, as we were doing the work effort of filming and editing and doing post-production, um, there was a lot of work to bring awareness around the movie, um, to get people interested, wanting lining up to watch it. Um, and then once the movie got released and we formally released it in August, 2020 during the great and wonderful global pandemic, uh, which became a huge challenge for us at the time um, to get people to, to see a movie, right? How, how do you get people to see a movie? And um, normally you see it in person and we couldn't do that. So we it reinvented the wheel um, pretty much. Numerous and, times. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we, we learned a whole lot about what it is to develop a movie in a social con conscious way and when it's ready for the world, how to get it out there and get people to do something with it um, mm. worked out pretty good, which is which is why we're here today. Right. Because we we developed we learned all these lessons and we said, OK, what can we do next? Um, Ashley is a is a writer, director in Hollywood where she focuses on a lot of horror and comedy movies that she makes. And the two of us team up for the impact films and. Um, yeah, so that's where the next film came in line. Superhuman Anxiety follows a, a young teen whose um, anxiety is is kind of manifesting a superhuman strength. So she breaks things, um, she cracks, snaps, you know, anything in her in her realm. And when she's feeling really anxious. And if you've ever been an anxious person, you understand how she feels. Mm -hmm. So um, we started, 
I wrote this movie as something for fun. Um, similar to how Pioneers and Skirts started, where we came with one goal. We were like, we just want to figure something out and then it evolved. The mm-hmm. the same things happen with superhuman anxiety. Is it started out as like me, you know, a person who has anxiety. Um, it's not, you know, what I've learned is like it, it doesn't define the entire you. It is something you have, it is something you can right. control. Mm-hmm. And um I just think it's interesting because, you know, I remember in high school, you know, sometimes it was all or nothing. And and I started writing this character. And for her today, this is how short films work. You're like, she's, she's going about her day. She's got her ways to kind of mask her anxiety. But today she has to really confront it head on when the elevator breaks down and she can't get to her tools that are usually help her. She has to Mm -hmm. figure out how to calm herself down. And there's a teacher stuck in the elevator with her who uh, helps talk her through this, this kind of panic attack that she's having. And I do say all this with this underlining tone of lightheartedness, comedy, but you're going to watch it and walk away with real um, action you can take if somebody is going through this or if you are going through this. Mm -hmm. Again, it was something that uh, I felt would be kind of fun to just experiment in a script. Then I really Mm -hmm. liked it. (laughs) And then I started sharing it with people (laughs) and they really liked it. And um, now it's become you know, we, we, we saw how it could become something that's really helpful to teens. Uh, again, uh, that's something we learned in making pioneers and skirts is like teens, um, young teens starting in middle school and up are already seeing a lot of these, um, issues, these, these kind of, uh, you know, mental health, um, you know, frustrations, they're already seeing how um, mm-hmm. they are portrayed in the world. Like, they're, they're seeing it all. And so they, we need to be able to talk straight to them now so that they can learn to control it, confront it, mm-hmm. understand it before it sure. starts to really overtake them. Uh, so we decided to put our impact efforts behind superhuman anxiety because we saw the benefit. Um, it's, it's certainly a, a fun movie for kids and also people like, you know, our age, because it's going to be, um, hilarious <laughs> if I do say so myself <laughs> well and you have to use humor I mean if you think about it you know nowadays the world I think needs a little bit of humor I don't know how both of you feel about that well you know and- I saw this sorry I just I saw this quote the yeah, other day ahead. and I was like I'm gonna remember that um humor helps to open the door mm. when you're laughing you you now I'm now I'm willing to listen and we get you the first 30 seconds so that I, makes you sense. Know, that's the yeah. plan. Sure. They always say when you give a presentation, you start sometimes the best way to do it is start off with a funny story or start off with a joke just to get everybody to pay attention. <laughs> it's you know? true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's true, right? So and it's funny as you're talking about this, um, I used to belong to uh and I still kind of am connected to a role play a group of role players. And it's it's like if you mix Dungeons and Dragons with like a superhero like role play RPG, like a like a real life for RPG except you're playing yourself and you have some of these powers and I'm thinking I know a couple people in that group that would love this I know people who have anxiety that I think would benefit from this even though it's a teen story I bet you they would connect with it too yeah so I think you're hitting home in a lot of points there for sure yeah and and it's being uh directed from a space of understanding like um I still have to talk myself through situations just like Miss Sweetly does to Whitney on the elevator. Mm-hmm. You know, let's put this into perspective. And funny enough, last week I actually got stuck on an elevator. Oh, and no. I texted my entire oh, crew. I texted the whole crew and I said, We did, it's right. All the feelings are right. Okay. So why did you decide on a short film instead of something a little bit longer? What was the thinking process behind that? It had a lot to do with the target audience, right? Mm -hmm. The core target audience are kids. We want kids to watch the film. But then the other part of the target audience are the mentors, the teachers, the therapists that are out there. And one of our targets is is to let teachers screen it at school. So that kids can ah, talk openly. Okay. And one thing we learned when we were making Pioneers and Skirts that schools cannot show a full-length movie at any time 
they don't have a way to do that. Classes are about 20 minutes long in, in some mm -hmm. cases, 20, 25 minutes. So um, because of the attention span, right, mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of a, young, a, a young child or, you know, a teen, a young teen, mm -hmm. um, and because of this 20, 25 minute span, we said, well, let's come up with something that's short and then teachers can follow up with an open dialogue they can do something later with it as well and kind of dissect each of the scene later in, in other classes, but mm -hmm. let's give them something to, to jump off of. And um, that's what we came up with the seven, eight minute piece. The key points that we try to, to put in there is, um, well, we definitely want to normalize uh, anxiety. We don't want True. kids to feel uh, that, that they're separated, they stand out, they, they're the oddball. We don't want even adults who are watching it to, to think that that's what we think. So when Ashley wrote the script, uh, we met with a couple of um, child psychologists just to make uh, sure. Yeah, sure. I mean, we can. Sure. We and that, can makes, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. Right. To me. And it was beautiful. And we made some really important changes to the script as a result of what the parents said to us and the psychologists, what they said. But we really are taking this very seriously, um, even though it's a fun fun film to watch it's serious thought behind it which we think is also pioneers in skirts yeah uh, <laughs> so we, uh, yeah, we are it's what we, we try to do we're gonna make you think but you're gonna have fun doing it so do you think that without art and culture and just just you know just having it at your fingertips do you think you'd be able to put out a pioneers in skirts or this new film that you're doing well but both with pioneers and skirts and now with superhuman anxiety um, both are impact films and why do impact films work because they create empathy and mm -hmm. you're actually sitting with these stories. So instead of somebody coming to you and say, Hey, this is how you handle your anxiety. We're coming to you with a film that says like, Hey, here's somebody that you might relate to. Maybe there's moments in there that you would relate to. Uh, but if mm -hmm. anything, you're going to have some fun and maybe you'll learn something that you can help someone else going through it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to start to think about how you play a role in it. That's the really good power of, of film, of art, of, of media, is it allows you to step out of your own experiences and see what someone else is going through and maybe find a piece of you in it too. And you'll grow just a little bit. Okay. And it's, again, I have to say it's very strategic. So in the beginning, we, we started thinking about, it's called issue mapping, where you, you talk within the team of Okay, and, and along with the psychologist too, right? Um, what is it that people talk about? What are the main issues? Um, what's getting in the way? What are the gaps in the solutions that are out there? Um, how can we write a script that kind of fills in or touches just a little bit on each one of those things so that afterwards people can have meaningful dialogue? So as you're sitting there, um, you could be a young adult who is relating with the storyline and sees a little bit of your life in that storyline. Or you can be a parent who says, I try to say the same things and my son or daughter just isn't listening to me. Um, or you could be a therapist or a teacher and you're, you're, listen, you're watching it with the students and you see their reaction and you can really have a good idea of what um, what's hitting them, what's hitting their heart. And I see this a lot now where there's more talk about mental health. You're just, and what you're basically doing with your film is you're just adding to the conversation, but you're adding an aspect that a lot of people are afraid to talk about or might be embarrassed about, and that is anxiety. Um, I have a partner who has this anxiety, and when it hits, oh my gosh, I have mm -hmm. another friend. I've seen that, and I've seen it happen. I've seen it work. I've seen it where either it goes one way into a panic attack, or I've seen it the other way where it's just like, it's just like, you know, you're just like, you're stuck in a way, yeah. you know? So mm -hmm. I think, I think in a way for maybe someone like me, who's going, okay, I kind of know it, but I need to know more. I could see that for myself, that could give me some tools too, that maybe I never thought about too. So I, I, I definitely see a lot of, just from my perspective, just a lot of great things coming out of this, you know, the mental health discussion, the social anxiety. I mean, you can go down the list. So I think this is a, really 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 cool idea that you've come up with thank um, you susan so as we're winding down 
Um, one question I want to put out there is how can BPW as well as non-BPW su members support, you know, people support you or what, what can they do to help you out? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, when I'm, when I think about that, I, I think of what anybody could do is, first of all, we'd like some help to get the movie done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're still making it. We're shooting uh, the first week of October uh, in, in Burbank, California. We're, we're making the movie. Um, mm -hmm. But the, the biggest cost of making any movie is actually post-production. So right. we're actively right now um, searching for all sorts of type of help. One is we sure could use some good introductions or referrals to nonprofits that are serving teenagers today. Um, mm. we're not, we're, what we're looking from them is we need, we need at least three nonprofits to host test screenings for us. We need uh, nonprofits to commit to, and, and when I say nonprofits, I'm talking the target audience. So it could right. be, um, it could be a for-profit, but it's, it's an organization to screen the movie, to commit to screening at least two times and we would be working with them to host very meaningful post-screening conversations. Um, and we're working, we're looking for um, organizations that are focused on this topic themselves and are be willing to work with us to create those post-screening materials that we'd like to hand out, um, all sorts of tools that they know would be extremely helpful to people watching the film. We're looking for, the money part is the brought to you by. We're looking for companies mm -hmm. and um, nonprofits, NGOs that would like to help us finish the film in post-production and then get lots of rights to, to screen the film uh, individually. And then we created a GoFundMe. If you go to the, the homepage of Ashley's website and look at uh, what we're looking for, and we would ask our BBW sisters to take a look, see who they know, uh, who can they refer. We're excited to, to create a film where teens can start feeling, you know, oh, I can talk about my feelings. Um, I can face my own feelings and deal with that. That's important to us. But we, so we thank you, Susan, for taking the time to talk oh, to us. Well, thank you. Thank you uh, for taking the time as well. Um, I know we're very excited. We're so, I know everybody at BPW is happy to have you in the organization too, you know, okay. and the other thing, it's more than just an organization. You've developed a sisterhood. You developed friendships over the years. And I think that's yeah. been that's that's the best part yeah so i just want to end it by saying to thank you once again for taking the time to talk this has been a fantastic discussion i love talking to both of you ladies i could sit and talk with you all day it's just so interesting and so i want to tell everyone out there to please make sure to learn about the film at ashmaria.com give any support that you can um please check out the information as well at the arts and culture committee via the uh, bpwinternational.org as well as the arts lake portal that we have as well and so with that, until next time, I like to say and end it, just stay creative. And that's it. <laughs>